Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you a couple of folding stoves that I lately got. in Canada. I, you know, in the winter I've been losing um, electricity, and so um, these ones might come in handy because you put like a sterno in inside of it and you light it, and then you can boil water and things like that. So, okay, this is the um, the first one. See, like you put the sterno in there. Okay, this one I think is a little bit trickier to open, but let's let's try. Okay, so this goes on the top. These are the sides. Okay. Okay, so you see there's little clips there and the oops. The little clips and then the bar goes in the clips. Okay, it's a little little tricky at first. Okay, so this one, the sterno sits in here. It just sits on the top there and then you, you close that up. Um, well, you light it and then you put a pot on top. So I did try it out and it held um, quite a heavy pot. When we tried it out, it took, I'd say about 20 minutes for the water to boil because the sterno is supposed to keep it warm, but you can technically cook something it just takes a little longer for it so okay let's put the second one together just because they're different styles so I wanted to show the different styles of how they are this one is a lot easier to put together this is how it looks and so you just open it up that's the top okay so this is the bottom part that the sterno goes on that's the top. This is the, the front, I believe, that you open. No, there's a front there. Okay, so this is one side. This is the other side. You're going to see the clips there. And um, on the bottom, there's that little slot. So you're going to... Let me see if I can get it on the camera. You're going to just push it into that slot on both sides. So this one goes in a little bit easier um, than that one. That one's a little bit trickier. Um, and then the sterno sits on that thing and then you close the door and then you're going to have here. But another thing that I bought just in case, you know, because with fire, you never know. I'm not opening this up because once you open it, you can't use it anymore, but it's a fire blanket. I just thought this was so cool because, um, fire extinguishers, you know, sometimes you might be like panicking and you don't know how to use it, but this thing, apparently you just, um, so, okay, you take the release tapes. In each hand, you're gonna pull it. Okay, it says here. So, you take the release tapes, these ones, you're going to pull them down and outwards. The, then you're gonna see the blanket coming out and you're gonna drape it over um, the, uh, the fire, like if it's on the stove or something, or like if the sterno, you know, if something goes on fire. And if clothing is on fire, you put the, uh, you wrap the blanket around them and then you, you know, you go on the ground. So again, I'm not going to open it. It's just a Velcro, but when you release it, it's going to pull the blanket out. You throw it on top of the fire and then you cannot use it again. It's kind of like a fire extinguisher. I believe a fire extinguisher you can only use one time. I don't know. I could be wrong. But anyways, um, it's quite heavy. So, um, this is supposed to be very, very big. From the videos that I saw, um, you know, the blanket is, is quite big. So you can throw it over your whole stove. And then it might be easier. You just pull it, grab it, throw it, and then, you know. You might have to get a little closer than you would with a fire extinguisher. But just having something like this in your house, and it's uh, cheaper, much cheaper than a fire extinguisher, um, can just make you feel a little better. Oh.